Adolf Hitler would have loved it, afloat in this year's carnival parade in the Belgian city of Alst. It featured a Nazi-style depiction of greedy Jews sitting on a pile of money, one with a rat on his shoulder. And when confronted by Jewish groups, the town mayor defended it. This is the same carnival that in 2013 featured a Nazi railroad car carrying Jews to a death camp. Sometimes the evidence of anti-Semitism in Europe is obvious, and sometimes it's subtle, like when Jews quietly leave a neighborhood because it isn't safe anymore. I traveled through Brussels with Jewish leader Joel Rubenfeld to visit his boyhood synagogue, which had to be sold because the area became too dangerous for Jews. I felt insecure coming here with my family. So it's a better thing that we left this place and that we go to a, a safest place. Jews have been in Brussels since the first century. They're still here, but many are leaving because of anti-Semitism and threats of violence. It's the not the alia, the big alia, but the internal alia. People who are leaving their city, remaining in the same country, leaving their city to go to a safer city. Or people leaving their neighborhood because they feel threatened as a Jew there in this neighborhood and going to another neighborhood where they feel more secure. The Jewish Museum in Brussels, where an Islamic terrorist killed four people in 2014, shows the 2,000-year history of the Jews in Belgium. But it's the more recent history that Europeans seem to be forgetting. So uh, it's people who say, yes, but it's not anti-Semitic, it's humor. But you know, this kind of humor is killing Jews. Meaning Jews have the power, Jews have the money, Jews have the control. All these very uh, basic uh, uh, anti-Semitic cliché. In Germany last year, violent attacks against Jews almost doubled. In Britain, anti-Semitic incidents have risen for a third year in a row. Anti-Semitism even began to show itself in France's Yellow Vest movement. In Paris, American writer Nidra Poller says it showed that revolts against the wealthy and powerful inevitably turn against Jews. Anti-Semitism is something like uh, the fumes uh, and the fire that come up out of the center of society when the surface is crackling apart a new Hudson Institute poll shows most Americans now believe anti-Semitism is growing in the United States. It's already infected the Democratic Party, and Rubenfeld has a warning to Christians. You're next. More problems will come, you know. It's just the beginning. We know this. We know that about anti-Semitism, that anti-Semites, they start with Jews, but they never finish with Jews. Dale Hurd, CBN News, Brussels.